uh hi youtube followers subscribers i'm saying hello to you too i'm doing this video on facebook as well because i'm trying to keep uh my youtube subscribers in the loop too with the things i share on facebook uh, a lot of you uh, want to tap into your psychic, uh, your spiritual abilities or psychic abilities, uh, you can call it. Uh, I like to look at it more as a science uh, because it's so much hocus and pocus, hocus pocus stuff attached to uh, psychic abilities or spiritual abilities. Uh, our ancestors mapped down spirituality to a science. Uh, you have awakened and you want to tap into your spiritual abilities the first thing you need to do is start conditioning your mind especially if you have been indoctrinated with religions because many religions take away your spiritual power limiting you to the things that you can or can't do they're telling you uh what you can and can't do and that is a programming you're you're putting that information in your mind so the first thing you need to do is start uh, conditioning and working with your mind, okay? Uh, you're going to need some spiritual mind treatments, affirmations to start conditioning your mind. Uh, if you are abori aboriginal, uh, indigenous person like me, uh, African, then you're, you're, you're also going to have to do a little research. You know, you're going to have to start reading more about yourself, about who you are, who your ancestors are. That's going to break down a lot of uh, programming, and it's also going to empower you with facts. Uh, when I first began to awaken and practice metaphysics, uh, the first thing I started to do is to do more research about me and my ancestors. Uh, and I began to meditate. Uh, when I, I set up my ancestors altar, uh, and then just doing the research on history, uh, I opened up that DNA and the ancestors were able to share more with me as I did my research through history, okay? And I also was, was I was loyal to, I am loyal to my meditation. I am taking 20 to 30 minutes out of my day to meditate, to listen to spirit. It's not, you know, a prayer, you know, it only does so much before it starts sounding like a lot of babbling. You need to, uh, we need to also train our minds to listen to spirit because it's constantly speaking to us. Another uh, valuable thing is connecting with nature. Spend that time with nature because nature has, um, there's elements and properties in nature uh, that also helps you clean your energy and it also helps you tap into that universal frequency because a lot of messages that we get are through our environment, are through nature. So you have to pay attention to what's going on around you, what's being said. said. Uh, you're going to be able to see with your mystical eyes, your, your spiritual eyes, the way the universe is responding to your mind, which is that energy, okay, which is that energy you're animating out which is your broadcaster system. Your mind is your broadcaster system, okay? It helps draw all the things that you need, uh, you know, you want to experience in your life. That's why I tell you to be careful with what you're thinking and what you're feeling because you want to be a frequency that draw all beautiful things to you. So you have to make a conscious choice to choose your thoughts. Uh, you know, do the research. A lot of you want... To practice uh, these spiritual uh, rituals, uh, you want to do this spiritual work, but you have not aligned yourself properly with the universe to be able to do these things. You know, you have to work with your belief system, you know, and you have to make a conscious choice to put uh, uh, good things in your spirit and your mind. Just like you feed your body, you have to feed your mind and your spirit. Listening to good music, you know, healing music. That's going to help, you know, help uplift you and put you in a frequency that will draw good things to you. You know, uh, you can even use uplifting music, uh, the lyrics in it, to uh, as an affirmation to reprogram your spirit. Okay? And with, your, with these beautiful words, you can change the energy around you. Not only are you you're speaking to your spirit, when you speak to your spirit, you're reprogramming your DNA. 
you reprogramming the blood in your DNA to a higher frequency. Okay, so this is a metaphysical science. And you have to make a conscious decision to, to say, hey, I want my spiritual eyes to be open and I'm going to uh, implement these practices in my everyday life to open up my spiritual eyes. Uh, immerse yourself in spiritual metaphysical books where your mind stays um, thinking about those things. Thinking about those things because you're operating with your mind. Your mind is very powerful. Uh, scientists say we only use 10% of our mind. I'm a firm believer that we're manifesting and doing things on a metaphysical level with the uh, other uh, other 90% of our, of our minds. We're manifesting. We do, we're doing things that they, scientists, have not been able to measure with our minds. No one can see uh, what's going on with your mind. They have to give you an intelligence test to see how you score your intelligence. So uh, the first thing you want to do is start realigning yourself with that universal consciousness. The universe wishes uh, beautiful things for you. It wants beautiful things for you. But when you have not aligned yourself with that positive energy of that universal consciousness, it's hard to get the messages and it's hard to know what the universe has for you. So the first thing you want to do, you want to start meditating. You want to start looking within yourself. You want to make the necessary changes that will align you with the universe so you can um, participate and, and creating your manifestations okay that's the most important thing a uh, research read study because the universe is watching mm -hmm. you and it's going to respond to your actions to your desires okay uh there's also a uh, bruise and tease that you can help open up that part of your mind too uh there is also other experimental plants that you can do where you can have these uh journey visions you know everyone is different to what stimulates that mind your mind so you can have these spiritual senses uh but the most important thing is to spend time out in nature uh most religions uh, especially christianity they have cut themselves off of uh, uh off from nature they're in these buildings Nothing in their scriptures or nothing in their spiritual practice venerates nature, and nature is God. You have to get that connection back, okay? So you're going to have to go out and meditate into nature. Uh, you know, look at all the signs. That bird, you, just, you didn't see that bird for no reason at all. That's the spirit trying to speak with you. You, you know, you, you're passing a person that's thinking about the very thing, speaking on the very thing that you've been thinking that's not a coincidence. The universe is sending you those subliminal messages. So once you start aligning yourself with the universe, you will see spirit in everything. The tree, the grass, the ground. You know, our ancestors were people of, of nature. And they also understood that the ancestors spoke through nature as well. You know, and the ancestors are not just people. They are uh, the moon the sun, uh, the ground, all these things are made, helps make us, make up our physical body. So they are a very part of us. Okay, so our ancestors uh, were planetary and guardians. So they made vows with these uh, other ancestral spirits too. They could be uh, trees, they could be grass, they could be animals. You know, like in a Native American or, or Aboriginal, I hate using the term uh, uh, Native American, they were Aboriginal people. Uh, in those terms, uh, they had a buffalo spirit that they communicated with. Okay, so connecting with nature, meditating, you know, paying attention throughout your day because the universe is constantly sending us messages we have to make the conscious choice to slow down and decipher the messages. We have to make a conscious choice to educate ourselves about who we are and how the universe responds to our energy. Okay, so it's just that simple. Uh, most of us, we have taken the dis we have we have the discipline to put a uh, use the daily regimen of meditation. Uh, of exercise, that's very important because you want to make sure you're getting that correct prana, 
that correct oxygen flow throughout your body because that's the energy as well okay you want to make sure you're getting that oxygen in your body so exercising and cleaning your dna that's important too getting that prana inside of you so there is nothing uh you know uh you know some people are more spiritual or more psychic than than others that just means they're more sensitive and more in tune with nature and you can do the same thing but you're gonna have to get control of your mind you cannot be mindlessly spending your energy on watching tv all day or on social media all day because you're giving that your energy so you have to be very very partial with your energy know what you're letting inside of your space know what you're thinking because when you're thinking you're you got all these thought forms around you that's a frequency that's going to draw things near you that you want to experience if you're in high vibrations and, and you just in this blissful state all the time you're going to have better manifestations and better experiences. If you're, uh, you're in a low vibration, you're going to experience more misery. Okay, so you have to make a conscious choice to choose your thoughts and choose how you want to spend uh, your time uh, you know, with your energy. What, what are you going to be focused on with your energy? I have to be very mindful of my energy. I know too much TV too much social media it's not good for our energy because we're, we're giving it too much of our attention and we're that your energy is your your attention is the compensation you know what i'm saying it's, you're you're paying for that that experience so you know just be mindful of that you know watch your environment you know and, and do more research you know read more put things in your spirit that's going to empower you okay uh, and that's just it. It's not complicated. You know, some of you want something in a magic bottle to say, woof, this is going to make you psychic. No, you have to practice. You have to put in the work. And the universe will reward you. Your energy will not go back. You know, it will not go out void. It's going to come back to you in positive uh, positive ways. And you'll know when you have aligned your, your align, align yourself with the universe you will start seeing more synchronicity in your life. Uh, also, talk to your ancestors. You know, they can help you as well uh, stay aligned, you know, with, with, with what you're trying to do. So, it's not that difficult, but you have to put in the research. You know, you have to put in the time to develop these uh, abilities. You know, the universe wants to evolve that's why you're seeing so much of this uh, being mainstream now. A lot of people is getting into metaphysics, metaphysics and seeing that it is a holistic modality that will help us live better lives. So you just have to be conscious of that, tear down that old programming, and start uh, speaking healing, loving energy into your spirit and reaffirming yourself that you do have the power to communicate with uh with spirits and with the universe because all of us have that ability but you have to be willing to put in the work for it no one is going to do it for you research read study because that's going to help uh you open up your mind to these other spirits and other beings in the universe that wish good for you that's trying to work for you it's just that simple people it's not difficult at all. You, you, you are surrounded by spirits all the time, whether it is the trees, whether it is the grass, whether it is the birds, cats, dogs. We are surrounded by spirits all the time. And once you realize that, life becomes mystical to you. You will see spirit in everything. And that's how our ancestors were. Okay, so it's not that difficult. Start tapping into your spiritual abilities because everyone has them. Everyone has them, okay? So it's just that simple. Uh, if you're uh, interested in more rituals or, or things like that, metaphysical supplies, you know, go look on our website, www.chemistry.com. We have all types of bath rituals and herbs and candles that will help, and books as well, Things that are going to help you uh, tap into your spiritual uh, abilities. So 
you have to put in the work. There is no magic wand to just make you uh, uh, spiritually uh, enlightened. You have to put that uh, information in you. It took some programming to get you the way you are now. So it's going to take some reprogramming to you get back to your natural birthright of these uh, spiritual abilities. I hope this video helped you. Light and love and may the ancestors be with you.